Uh, we have known for quite some time that Obamacare was going to cost us a lot more money than we thought. But what you may not know is that uh, there are huge taxes in store for every American family because of Obamacare. Some of the taxes you may be uh, knowing about, some of them target families earning over $250,000, like the surtax on investment income and the Medicare payroll tax hike. But there are some things that um, most people didn't even understand. The medical device tax that is going to... I mean, this will kill jobs and make everything from pacemakers and artificial legs all the way to tongue depressors more expensive. Now, how this ever came about, I don't know. A tax on medical devices. You would think that if a person had a catheter or they had uh, even a uh, glucose monitor, that that was a good thing. Why would we want to tax something like an artificial leg or a wheelchair or a walker? But that's part of Obamacare, if you didn't know that. It's part of Obamacare. But one of the uh, untold little hidden taxes in Obamacare, a uh, big list of them just released by the Americans for Tax Reform, and one of them is the amount that you'll be able to deduct from your tax return if you have exceptionally high medical bills. So, so for example... Um, Previously, if you were a family and you had very high medical bills, you were allowed a deduction if the bills exceeded 7.5% of your adjusted gross income. What Obamacare does is raise that to 10% of your adjusted gross income. All right, let me break that down and explain it to you. According to the IRS, about 10 million families took that deduction in 2009. The average income of those families who took that deduction was $53,000. Imagine now a family making 53000 member of the family uh, is involved in a car accident, has tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of medical expenses, uh, very high medical expenses, and if they exceed 7.5% of their gross adjusted income, they can deduct that from their taxes. Now that's being raised to 10%. So here's what that means. You're a middle-class family, and you're struggling with medical bills. So the government says, hey, let's put higher taxes on those people who are barely making it because of high medical expenses. I bet you didn't know that was in Obamacare, but it is. There's a full list of well, what's called Obama's tax hike train wreck available at the uh, website of Americans for Tax Reform. I suggest you look at it, atr.org, and you can see all of the list. And it breaks it down not just by what the taxes are, but when they will go into effect. And I think that it's uh, pretty revealing to find out that the uh, Obamacare promise, which was, you like your health care? You can keep it. <laughs> not if you can't afford it. And here's the, here's the big one. Your health care expense will go down by $2,500. Fat chance on that, my friend. And if you'll look at uh, all the taxes that were built in and hidden into Obamacare, I think you're going to realize your health care expenses are not going down. Golly. They're going up. They're going way, way, way up. It ain't going to be fun. When we